Hello friends, and welcome back to another studio vlog. In this one, I'm going to be showing off some of the pretty fall colors that are changing with the leaves. Some fun trips, including here. Uh, this is a trip that we made to an apple orchard, actually. And there were lots of cute little uh, baked goods and holiday items, so you can look forward to that. I also took a trip to Vegas to see some family and pack some things with the latest shop update. So go ahead and look forward to all that here. But yes, I would definitely recommend Tanner's Orchard if you're ever looking for some yummy baked goods or apple cider donuts or things like that or whatever holiday needs you might have. And then in this next part of the vlog, I went and showed some of the beautiful sights for the five days that I was in Vegas. I actually have some family members that live up there and it was really nice to see them and get to get out of town for a bit. Ironically, it was just as I was getting started with my new job. So I had a week of training, went on vacation and then went back to a week of training, which actually kind of worked out well because then I didn't, there were, previous person was still there to kind of handle things while I was gone and then I could still you know come back the next week and still review stuff with them while they were still here so it all worked out really well but yes this place here is always my favorite restaurant to go and visit whenever we go somewhere that it's located it's the rainforest cafe and yeah I've always loved this place since I was a kid because it has like a fake little thunderstorm that goes on there's all these animals that are, you know, animatronic and they move and stuff, and it's always just a fun time. Uh, this was also a little dessert place that we happened to walk by, and I'm like, yes, good inspiration for later on with drawings. <laughs> um, this area was actually outside of the hotel called the Bellagio, and that's where the fountain shows go off every, I believe, every hour. So, yeah, here's part of it here. And... Yeah, Vegas is such a beautiful area. It really was perfect temperature too because it wasn't too cold and the sun was still shining. It wasn't too hot or anything. And especially because back home it was raining all week while I was gone. So worked out well. Another cool thing about the Bellagio is that they have this inner area here within the hotel that they change every season with these beautiful flowers. Um, and obviously it's a theme that kind of matches, you know, obviously we were here during fall for October. So they had lots of cute little bears. There were some mushrooms uh, and they were like all made out of flowers, a fairy house, lots of cute little things. So I'll let you guys kind of enjoy what we have here. Yeah, like look at these cute little foxes that are just hanging out at the <laughs> at the riverbed here. And yeah, they had some koi fish hanging out in the pond. It was really pretty, honestly. So if you ever happen to go and visit Vegas for any reason, I would definitely recommend it. And then this was actually a cake vending machine that they just had scattered throughout the hotel too. And I believe it was for Cake Boss, but it, it was delicious. I definitely recommend that too. And then this right here was actually taken while we were walking around Caesars, which is, I believe, one of the biggest hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. But, oh my gosh, yeah, this place is massive. You could very easily get lost in there. And they have a very big shopping area if you like to do that sort of thing. Lots of good food places, uh, a little area with Poseidon, I believe it's supposed to be. And, you know, Greek mythology is very prevalent throughout this area. But, yeah, I would <laughs> definitely get lost in here. And then later on, my boyfriend and I decided to go on a miniature golf spree and we played in this glow-in-the-dark area. It was really fun. I am terrible at mini miniature golf, but 
<laughs> the area was really cool to walk around in and see like all these mystic themed places so I had a good time. And then this actually happened to be, I wanted to show off how pretty the moon and the night sky were when we happened to visit my aunt and uncle at their house. And it was a good time to see them because obviously we really hadn't hung out with them too much since before COVID started. So getting to spend that time with them was very valuable and I got to see my cousin and his little son. So it was a good time all around. And then this next part of the trip was part of a bath and body care shop. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this properly, but they had like all these cute little designs that were set up in like pastry and dessert form. So I really enjoyed it. And it again, definitely inspired me for later drawings. So hopefully you can look forward to some fun dessert art soon. And yeah, if you've been watching my videos, you know if I see a good fountain, I will always somehow include one in there. So here you go with another one. But yeah, I have been coming to Vegas since I was a kid. So it's always amazing to see how much it changes, but how much it also doesn't. There are always so many new things that are happening, but it's nice to know that things will also stay the same. Oh yes, and then we happened to find a Hello Kitty pop-up shop and I was like, you know what, that would be fun to just go check out. So yeah, I ended up getting a hot chocolate there in that cute little cup, this little squishy donut charm, and a pin that was also very sweet. So very cute place. And then as it was time to return home, I actually got a bunch of cute little mail, so I was super happy about that. I happened to purchase something from Little Hecky, uh, one of the artists that I follow, and there was so many cute things that came with her Halloween shop update, so I obviously needed to pick a couple things up for myself. So. Yes, it took me forever because I really wanted to try and not tear that sticker. and. Eventually, I could get to all of the sweet things inside. So yeah, her Halloween packaging was on point. She had some very cute a baggie there. Um, this white bag actually held one of her pins. Super adorable and it had like a really beautiful purple sparkle in the actual design of it. So I love that. There was, yeah, I'm pointing it out there. There was also one of her little soccer pins that I wanted to get from one of her previous Kickstarters also super cute. There was a candy that of course I dropped as I'm trying to show it off. And then getting to the main goodie bag, it actually had a bunch of stickers that I wanted and there's a cute little card that came with that was actually a, I believe a trick or treat theme. So you could either get a trick or a treat, but either way I believe it was like a so much percent off of like your next purchase from her shop. So. A really cool idea actually that she included that in her theme so good on you so yes here's barry with all his little friends in this beautiful clear sticker sheet i really love that idea that i think that's super cool um one of her business cards that has a cute little theme and then just a little thank you note with some i think these were like some little freebie halloween stickers too And then yes, this was the little trick sheet that she sent for all of her customers. And I didn't want to open it here just in case for some reason there was something special with it, but it was, like I said, a little percentage off from like a purchase on her next shop. So a very cute idea. Thank you so much for everything, Ying. And then next off, I went ahead and showed off um, a little packing video of my own here. So. I had one of my sweet friends, Jordan, who ordered from my shop again. I quickly realized that my You Are Spooktacular stickers uh, was too big to fit in my new, uh, or in the old envelopes that I had. So I just reused some old packaging I had gotten from a previous order that I purchased from someone else's shop. 
I was like, you know what? You know, it's obviously still good. It looks very pretty. So we'll just go ahead and include it in this order. And yeah, I still wanted to keep it protected as best as I could with the reusable um, baggie here. So another thing I happened to find out while I randomly decided to switch up my packaging was that the smaller envelopes that I received for the thank you notes uh, would not fit with the flower sheets that I normally pack all my orders in. So I needed to switch it up and figure out, I really did want to figure out another way that I could still include those flower pads um, with every order. So I cut a small bit of it out and just made it a little bit more handmade and added, you know, my stamps here. I signed my name on it just to give it a little extra flair. And I wanted to add a ribbon to it, uh, specifically a Halloween one, since obviously this was still a bit of a Halloween order. And I think it was actually a really fun idea, so I hope that everyone who orders from the shop really likes the little update. But yes, if you remember from my previous video, I had gone shopping at Michael's, so yeah, these were some of the little ghosts, and I also grabbed some pumpkin ribbon later on, so those were something that I just felt would maybe personalize it a little more still. So I wanted to go ahead and still include my uh, stamp that I got from No Issue, so I kind of pack that with every order as well, and of course the cute little washi tape, so... Hopefully this gets to you soon, Jordan, and thank you again for ordering from my shop. And then I also went ahead and ordered for the very first time. My art friend opened up her shop, so I wanted to help support her in a, as, as small of a way as that I can and pick up some of her cute art. And everything looks so cute. And she actually uh, designed a sticker of my little ghost princess Lucy. So go ahead and look forward to that later. But yes, she has a really adorable fox OC named Yomi. And yeah, as you can see, he is a little sticker here on the very front with the happy mail. But again, I try so hard not to tear those stickers if I can help it because I never want to damage the packaging. I, I can always tell how much love and everything that an artist puts into, you know, making everything, so. But yeah, I really like this idea too that she created a QR code for her business card so that you can actually, you know, scan it and pull up her shop and everything else that's included in what she makes, so really cool concept actually. And then yes, later on here, this is the part of the packaging that had one of her little crow uh, stickers and two ghosts. And at first I didn't realize it until I happened to read through her little thank you letter that she had drawn one of my characters, Lucy, and she had like a little nurse's head on and everything. So I like had to pull it back up again and be like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. Thank you so much again. Um, but yes, definitely check out at Bev Artfulness on Instagram. But yes, October was just packed full of things with vacation, visiting family, a new job, lots of things, but it was all very good and ended the perfect way with a Halloween party. So uh, this is actually going to be the end of the vlog here, guys. I hope that you enjoyed everything and that you'll look forward to more next time. I hope you all have a good day, though.